how to upload your Google ads remarketing code to your website using Google Tag Manager. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do this and you're going to see it's actually really not that scary. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Alana and welcome to the Teach Traffic YouTube channel. If you find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up button icon click. Alrighty, let's go dive into my account. I'm going to walk you through step by step what you need to do to get this code on your website using Tag Manager and make sure you stay through to the end of the video because I'm going to show you a little Chrome add-on tool that I use to check that the tag is firing correctly. All right, let's go into my account. So here we are in our live Google ad account and I've navigated straight to my data sources section. So how I got here was tools and settings, shared library, and then audience manager. And within my audience manager, I have gone to my data sources. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to get the, um, the Google ad tag from my ad account, get the, uh, the ID and then upload it to um, to my website using Google Tag Manager. Okay, so here is my Google Ads tag, which is actually active. It's already on my website, which is why it's showing some hits. All right, you might not have it on your website yet, in which case it's not going to have any hits, but in invariably you're going to go to the details section. Okay, and if we scroll down here, tag setup, we click here, and here are the three different options that we have in order to get this tag on our website. We can install it ourselves using, you know, maybe the back end of WordPress or some other mechanism by which you can get access to the back end of your website directly. You can email this tag to your webmaster, or as we're going to show you in this video, is I'm going to, uh, we can use Google Tag Manager to do so. So I click on this. And you'll see here that this is the conversion ID that I'm going to need in order to put that into Tag Manager. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go over to ta my Tag Manager account. All right. Obviously, you need to have a Tag Manager account created and uh, the Tag Manager code installed on your website in order to be able to um, upload this code to, to your website using Tag Manager. I'm going to assume you know how to do that. I'll put a link in the description to how to create a Tag Manager account and get the code on your website. Uh, but I'm going to assume you've already done that. Okay, what we're going to go to, we can either click on add a new tag or we can go to the tag section, add new. So I'll just click add a new tag. So I don't need to do that. And really there's three parts that I need to do here. I need to give this title, this tag a name rather. I need to um, add the configuration, which is that code from my ad account, and I need to assign a trigger. All right, so I'm going to call it this Google Ads Remarketing Code. Okay, and I'll just call this test because I've already got it on there. So I can just um, uh, find it easily. Tag configuration. Because Google Tag Manager is a Google product, it talks really nicely with other Google products, which is great. So Google Ads Remarketing Code is here uh, conveniently. And all I need to do here is put in this conversion ID. And I control paste that into there. So that's good. And the trigger is I need to set it to be fire on all pages. That's because I want this retargeting code to fire on every single page of my website, not just specific pages. So I click all pages and then I click save. Now this hasn't yet been uploaded to my website yet. All right. So we're not, we're not quite done yet. We can go into preview mode to check if we've created it correctly first. So we, if we do this preview, this is going to get us into debug mode. Here you put in your website URL. So I click connect. It's going to connect to my Teach Traffic website. And you see it's loaded up Teach Traffic and it's in GTM debug mode, uh, which is great. So if we go back here, we can see that our new Google Ads remarketing code test, which we've just created, has been fired because of this particular um, that you know it's fired because it loaded that page which is good so it is working correctly which is great so we can get out of this we can get out of this and then in order to upload it to our website now that we're happy with it firing correctly we just click submit you can give this version a name so that when you look in your changes you can see what you've done for certain tags 
and then you click publish. I'm not going to click publish because I've already got it live uh, and then it will upload to your website. If you go to your website as well, so I'll go to mine and I've got a tag assistant. I'm going to enable this and then I'm going to refresh. You can also test that it's been done correctly because I've got my Google Ads remarketing tag here as well. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to uh, upload your Google remarketing tag to your website using Tag Manager. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.